let's go back to Majula. Try to get a level. Oh, you know what? There's a, uh... I remember that I missed on my first playthrough. There's like a well over here that has a thing in it. A, um, a soul shard. An Estus Flask shard. There we go. Let's see if that can get us one more flask. That would be wonderful, getting one more healing. Bearer of the curse seeks less. Uh, all right. I wonder how high it goes. Probably 15, I would guess. Maybe 20. Do I have enough to level? Yes, just barely. So let's keep going in faith. to the Cardinal Tower again. This time we'll try to make it to the boss. Is there any way to not aggro all those guys in there? Can I just like be sneaky? Pretty sure that's the way I have to go to get to the next shortcut. Can I aggro just the one? Hopefully. Yes. Okay. Unfortunately, I don't have a very big space without aggroing everyone. Okay. Oh god, everything is... <laughs> uh, I hope I didn't aggro all those guys in that room. The amount of time it takes to get up when you've been, like, knocked down on the ground, it's kind of a bummer. Oh, I didn't think I was all the way behind him. God, how many times am I going to do that? It's not the button to cast. Not even close. Okay. If we killed one of those red ones, we should definitely be able to kill one of these regular ones, right? Archers up there. Progress. There's two enemies there. One lying on the ground, one on the ledge above, and one up on the sword, if I remember all. All these correct. One, please. One hiding here. 
pretending to be dead. Get up. Get up. want what's out there. I guess I do. those extra swings where like I swing one too many times and my sword goes through the body. I think that's what's really hurting the durability based on what people have told me. Like on the PC swinging your sword through like a dead body is very damaging to its durability. Alright, so we open this and then this becomes a shortcut. This door up here. lizard, whatever they are in this game. Oh god, <laughs> so bad. <laughs> I thought for like half a second which one was the A button and then hit the wrong one. Sucked myself out. Did it run away? It hasn't run away yet. way to deal with them. Oh, nice. That's exactly what I want. So now I have an easy way there. I think there were some guys in here, right? It's just the one. Wish I could get the, the first swing in the series instead of the third one. the boss with this many Estes, or do I go heal? I think I'll try it. I know it's only like two or three guys I would have to fight through, but eh. Where's the danger in that, right? Oh, there's going to be one guy in the hallway here, too. for that door yet. So, against this boss, probably I'll want to, um, the shield is pretty much going to be useless, I think, so I'm going to want to be two-handing my weapon. Let's we'll start with a great fireball. Which is R1, not healing potion button. So I guess when they say the last giant, they must mean, like, this is the only living giant from the, uh, from like when the giants invaded Drangleic, fought the king and his army. What a life, though. Jeez. Look at the size of the swords that are in that thing. Oh, his hand hit me. Yeah. 
yeah, that spell is just really slow. Not really good for a... I guess combustion maybe is a better choice. That's a really close range spell. Greedy. Spells. Firestorm, which I'm not going to use, so I guess we're on our sword now. That was close. Firestorms, fun spells, but really dangerous to use because they immobilize you for like three or four seconds. Offense is the best defense. opens. Which gives us a key. Uh, not a key, a, a, a ring of some sort. Regen, I think. Yep. And torches. Because Lord knows we need torches. Ooh, that's a guy. That's definitely, that's two guys. seems to be the way to use Firestorm. Yeah, I'm not fighting two guys with uh, with only two healing potions. That's just not happening. I'm going to uh, I'm gonna rest here, get all my potions back, and then I'll try fighting those guys. Maybe I can get one. Can I aggro just one? Weird. With the bow in my left hand, I have to hit the left. Yeah. Left trigger to use it, of course. The left button. L1. That's what I'm looking for. Ah. Uh, which is unusual. I thought maybe using Firestorm is like a, is like a repost almost, <laughs> would be an interesting try. It's 
Seems like he doesn't want to cross over this bridge. Which is fine by me. It's too bad that the red phantoms don't more frequently give you, uh, give you items. Still not sure if you can parry jump attacks or not. I do like the shield for parrying, though. I guess it would be unfair if there was like a really good pairing shield and it had 100 physical defense. I think there is like, there's a way that I can upgrade it that increases its physical de defense though, I think. One of those, like, upgrade paths. Uh, I need, like, the, the king seal for that door. I don't know that I really need to go to, to any of these places, though. Because I already have all of the items that are down here. Probably. I guess I'm really just looking for red phantoms. For completeness's sake. and light torches with my spells. I also have no idea if these guys are parryable. The bigger the weapon, the less happy I am about attempting to parry. Out here is like Turtleville. These are... This is the worst. This section. Oh. And him. <laughs> also an archer. on him. <laughs> I know I'm going to get hit when I do that, <laughs> but it's just so fun. on the roof. There's at least some people down here too. Anyone in 
here. Oh yeah, lots of people in there. Adding to my bastard sword collection. be a turtle. Well, you have to be right up on him with that spell. But it's the only one I've got left. So that's what I'm going to use. stamina to roll. I think. Old ironclad armor. Turtle armor. Which gives you defense against critical attacks. Which seems like it'd be really useful for PvP. Because you don't really get critical attacked too often PvE. That treasure, that whole area is the, uh, is where Kale is, the cartographer. <gasps> nope. I have no spells, so I'm fighting this one with sword play. Three and four. Swing. down, so I'll just take it. Go through that one, and then out so I don't get shell slammed. Oh, there it happened. Happened anyway. It's all right. like this build. It'll be much more fun when I... Uh, well, I don't know. It's actually kind of fun now. I was gonna say it'll be more fun when I get my sword upgraded a bit, but... I'll feel more like a badass when my sword is upgraded. I don't know if it will necessarily be more fun. Okay, there's two... there's at least two of them on the roof. There used to be two of them on the roof. Do I really want to fight two of them with two Estus? I guess I do. Suppose I do. is not aggro that one over there. That would be a nightmare. Ow, oh, every time. Darn it. I think a couple firebombs can't handle. should try parrying one of these guys someday. But not today. The trick here is to get your damage from an angle where he won't have his back to you afterward. Like 
right at the side. Okay. I feel like we've cleared this area out. Uh, there's a bonfire over here to hit. I'm gonna just keep going in. Keep going in faith for more fire. I guess if I keep going in faith, I could replace this repair spell with like a healing spell. Or maybe I would replace, com uh, not combustion, um, either one of my fireballs or that storm spell. Because I'm just taking so much damage casting this firestorm. Alright, uh, I'm going to cut this video here. Thanks for uh, watching. <laughs> we'll get to the DLCs eventually, but I'm actually having quite a bit of fun so far on this new build. Going through New Game Plus, it's a lot harder. <laughs> Quite a lot harder. I'll see you in the next episode, guys. Take care.